we received a sizable donation last year mm -hmm. that assisted during the end of the pandemic for us and also during the recent um, Hurricane Lisa mm -hmm. damages. Okay. Um, what happened was uh, the director from Key Bank visited and uh, we talked about what our challenges were and he was able to assist us uh, with a donation of 500,000 Belize dollars. Okay. Thankfully it was unrestricted donation that means the zoo could have used it how we best needed it. At the time when we received the donation we were just over three hundred thousand dollars in overdraft and so we made it clear to the donor that most of that money would have been going to operational expense and then to fund some of our conservation programs that were left behind because of no funding from the because of the pandemic um, we 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 were able to to bounce back along with the donations we received from other donors and the Belizean public. Okay. So we were able to reopen on December 17th. And as you can see, when you walk through the zoo, the recovery effort is still ongoing. Just when we think we were going to getting a sigh of relief, breathe a sigh of relief, then the hurricane hit us. And so, um, that donation, as I said, was, yeah. was very, very timely. People can reach us uh, through, through the website. Uh, there's a donation button there. Um, people can reach us through email, the front desk, or just um, go on the website and uh, for local donation, our Belize Bank and Atlantic Bank information is there. So you can just do a, a local transfer. If you're in the U.S. Uh, and you want uh, tax deductible for your donation, then visit the website. We also have our 501c3 in the U.S. that, that um, assists us with that.